Hey guys, this is Eric Weingartner with Weingartner Racing. Today I want to talk about one of the reasons why I like the Sains Digital 680 Bench more than the Superflow 750 Bench. Now, the Superflow 750 is a great and outstanding bench. It truly is. It works fantastic. Um, but there is something I like about the Sains Digital 680 a little bit more, and it has to do with the motor controller. So both of them have a motor controller on it, and I'm going to talk about what it is. Um, what it is, it's a device that once you kick on the flow bench, it will give a certain amount of voltage to the motors so that allows them to spool up to 28 inches of vacuum. Both of them have it on there. And one of the big advantages of having a motor controller on there is, in the previous flow benches and the old designs, what would happen is you would turn on the flow bench and all the motors would be working at 100% of their capacity. And then you would turn these knobs and allow more air to get in there to reach 28 inches of vacuum. Um, Having the motor controller on there, it, what it does is it, it makes the motors inside the flow bench last longer because they're not working at 100% when they really don't need to be. So both of them have it and that's the reason why they're on there is really to save the flow bench motors. But the reason why I like the Sains better is how quickly the motor controller responds. So the Sains, by the way, has more vacuum motors inside of it than the Superflow. But I also think it's due to its software that it allows it to spool up much quicker and than the Superflow does. And you might say, so what's the big deal about that? Well, the, one of the reasons is it saves you a considerable amount of time doing an actual flow bench test. Because if you're going through the whole flow bench range, intake and exhaust, um, doing it on the Sains could save you quite a bit of time over the Superflow 750. But the other reason, and this one's probably the more important one, is this. Because the motor controller responds quicker than it does on the Superflow, what happens is you will see things in the intake port that you do not see on the Superflow. And you might say, what are you talking about? Well, there are several times in an intake port where the air will separate from the short side or other areas will separate from. And sometimes the port is just on the verge of that happening. So maybe your short side's really abrupt and you're just on the edge of having it separate. And when that happens, you'll see the flow numbers back up. In other words, it'll keep climbing on the flow numbers as you increase valve lift and then it goes backwards. Well, because the Sains bench responds so quickly um, to the um, vacuum it needs, it will show the smallest backup will happen because the motors respond quicker. So in other words, the air, instead of just gradually increasing speed, it's doing it rapidly, so it will jump the short side. And I say this because on the Superflow 750, its motor controller works much, much slower. And I will show you in just a second when I'm talking about how, how slow, much slower it is than the Sains. So on the Superflow, you can have a head because it's not accelerating the air quite as quickly to get up to that 28 inches where the air is almost about to detach, but because you're accelerating nice and slow, it stays there. On the Sains, you won't see that. Instead, you'll have a head that backs up. And this has happened several times where a head will back up and flow, and I will see it on the Sains, but not on the Superflow. Instead, on the Superflow, it just maintains the same flow. You might say, uh, what's the big deal? Remember, these are flow benches are just a tool, and they're only really capturing just a small picture of what's happening in a live engine. And the air speeds changes in the engine are much quicker than our flow benches are even doing. But having something that speeds up the air quicker versus slower gets you a better picture of what's actually happening in the engine. So that's one of the main things I like about the Sains Digital 680. But that's just me talking. Maybe I could just show you. So this head doesn't back up and flow, but let me show you how quickly it pulls up to 20 inches. So I'm going to kick on the bench, and it's at 400 inch valve lift. I'm going to go 400. As soon as it gets 28 inches, I'm going to go 500. And as soon as it gets 28 inches, I'm going to go to 600. And we're going to see how much time it takes to do each one. Then I'm going to put on the Superflow and see the same thing. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Because I think visualization makes a huge difference. Now, this head does not back up and flow, so you're not going to see me have one that reverses and flow on this one. But hopefully you get the idea. So let me go ahead and kick it on. I'll show you.
that was going four, five, six. So you saw the numbers change and that flow bench, the motors kept up with it almost instantly. When you see it on this one, you're gonna see the huge difference. Okay, same head on the flow bench, on the super flow this time, same head. And we're gonna do it the same way. It's at four, I'm gonna go four. As soon as it gets 28 inches, I'm gonna go five. And then as soon as it gets 28 inches, I'm gonna go six. But I'm gonna warn you, if it gets to 27.8, I'm going. Because this thing, you'll see, it's gonna take a minute. So here we go. Watch out quickly. you can kind of see how much of a difference it is and that's only three lift points so uh anyway hopefully that gives you something to think about it's a great bench but that gives you a different picture because of how quickly this one uh how quickly the sains uh, speeds up the flow compared to the super flow anyway guys thanks for watching remember i'm no superman you guys take care